Hello guys, welcome to this episode. <laughs> Keep in the you are welcome, you are welcome, you are welcome. Before we get started, give this video a like, give this video a share, give this video a thumbs up. Without wasting much of the time, let's get into it. Now I want people to know something. We we like the truth. And when we see somebody speaking the truth, we support that person. But if that person steps out of line, that person will collect. We like Arume Osai because he's speaking the truth right now. Any day we see that Arume Osai sleeps, deviates, or being based from the truth, from the gospel of Jesus Christ, he will collect. Mm -hmm. So, I want you guys to listen to this. This is an advice. A sort of advice from Arume Osai. To and co the gold mafias oh listen to him and when you come back we talk joshua we want them to listen let you but angel listen let all of them that are doing nonsense with the, with, the, with the word word of god damaging the christianity using christians because those ones they don't have sense to think with their brain let them listen to this message and when you come back we'll talk yes it's not supposed to be a job a job for one man it's a it's a job for the body of christ we are all what called to do what defend the faith let me tell you something if i'm the only man standing doing this job i will do it till i die if i'm the only man standing. till death do me part i will never see evil and call it good I will never see good and call it evil. There is a challenge in our generation. And the challenge is that people have become so comfortable. You see, I don't know, I don't know, I don't know, I don't know. But you see, we, we, we receive the wrong message of prosperity. Because today we believe that prosperity is a mark of godliness. That was the error of Bela. That was the error of Bela. When, when the emissaries from the king came to consult with Bela, meanwhile, Bela had received an express instruction from God not to accompany them, that this thing cannot end well. The man looked at the gain, looked at ah, the gold. He went back to consult. Meanwhile, the instruction was clear until he, he moved out of the perfect will of God and was in, on the platform of permissiveness. At the end of the day, he became a victim of judgment because he was killed. Turn the grace of God as a license to the, the boast about sin. The boast about the gains, the gains of riches of unrighteousness. The boast about it is something to boast about. Meanwhile, all of that was accumulated as a sign, the extent to which Jesus had been denied in that life. I serve Jesus. It is what Jesus makes available to me that I need. I don't need what Jesus is not willing to give me because Jesus knows my frame. He knows what I can hold in store and still remain loyal to him. So God has descended and he's, he has, he's visiting his house now. This visitation will continue for three years. And all kinds of strange things you are going to hear in the body of Christ. People humiliated. People that have been keeping secret sin and all of it, it will be exposed to lamb life. So if you can't handle it, look for cutting wool. Put in your ears because you will hear stories. Oh my God. The Lord has descended. And he will begin to approve strange things. He will begin to expose impostors. People that are using his name as a cover up for iniquity. God is on rampage. God has decided to visit. He's been quiet for many years. So people build thrones. People give, give themselves titles. Come with me quickly. When a man of God is, is caught in sin, what is expected of you is you come and say, I, I apologize to you people. 
I will send to you people. But I missed it. Pray for me. I will be off the pulpit because it's just like you are driving a car and your tire is deflated. No matter how you are in a hurry to go to the hospital, no matter how, how much haste you are engaged in, because your tire has been deflated, it will be, you will need to stop the car and go and fix the tire and inflate it before you can restore the tire. So what sin does to a man of God is that it, it deflates him. It makes him a liar. If in that state of sin, you are saying, repent! Demons, you, will, you may have made a day for demons. They will look at you and they will start dancing. Because you are a liar. You will need to stop that vehicle, jack the tire, remove it and go and walk on it. Are you there? So such a, such a preacher should leave the pulpit. His life with God, his soul is more important than the pulpit. And it must be revealed in his life that he, he prioritizes his soul a more precious commodity than any form of visibility and any form of defense he can present. So go back and allow Jesus to inflate you at his own pace. It might take six months, it might take one year until you are adequately inflated. And the thing for which you fear, when you look at it eyeball to eyeball, you no longer triggers anything on your soul. Your heart has been weaned from its influence. And your ears can hear God again as freshly as you used to hear him before. Then you can be restored to the pulpit under supervision for another six months. This man speaks sense. And everything in this video is what we stand for. Because we've been telling people, God knows your capacity. When you're looking for riches, looking for riches up and down. God knows your capacity. He knows what he will give you that will not make you deviate. And he knows that if you have certain things, Otilo, you are gone. The fact that you serve God does not mean you will be rich. Yeah. True. Brother, God is not a lottery. And riches are in different Riches form. are in different form. Your own might be good health. Your own might be good health, exactly. Hmm. Somebody else's own might be family. Somebody else's own might be... Riches come in different... What you consider riches hmm. is not what another person considers That's riches. It. And that is where Uber Angel is missing it. You think because you have cars, you have house, you have private jet, that means you are rich. Mm. That does not equate riches. At all. That is not riches. That you're just acquiring wealth. Jack. Uh, uh, Bob Marley said it. They said, "Do you have? Do you have money? Are you are you wealthy? So are you, you rich?" He said, "What money. do you mean?" He said, "Do you have money? Do you have go houses?" He said. Is that is that what is that riches to you? That's not riches to me. My riches is good health and my family. Good life. That is that is the mentality every Christian should have. You wake up in the morning, you are healthy, you are able to walk. Greatest miracle. Greatest, greatest miracle. riches, my brother. You wake up in the morning, you are still not able to walk. There's there's somebody worse than you mm. what the situation you are now somebody is praying mm. to be in that situation Tell you. they cannot say because you serve god you should have everything, you should have everything in the world mm. you need to remember anything and that's where many of these pastors have missed it they have followed mammon they have followed the good life when they go and meet these so-called charlatans, they see them, they bring, they come with perfume, they come with suits, expensive designer suits, in convoys. Those other pastors will be looking at, ah, me, don't I serve God? Why is my life like this? <clears throat> they don't know that charlatans like you, but angel, they do other things to fuel that lifestyle. After they will come <clears throat> and brag that they are, my God is not a poor God. Yeah. I got one thing from this 
I will not say his video. And that word is that that part is very important. I think I was able to learn something from somebody. He said, even while you are if you are being accused of something, even while you are not guilty, he said, learn to say sorry. Mm. Yeah, that word big. Very big oh. See why you are not even even guilty and you know it. Just say sorry so that peace. You see all these men, they have aired. They are, they have done things. Some of them have been accused of <clears throat> hammering girls up and now. But they are trying to keep that image that they are perfect. That they can never do. The church does not belong to you. Mm -hmm. Does not belong to anybody. The church does not belong to anybody. Step aside. Go and do restitution with God. Apologize to the people. Tell them you are wrong. You remember we said it here that if these people can come on the pulpit one day to see all the accusations, I want to take it. Mm. And I'm deeply sorry. Please forgive me. I will live for so so month and I'll be back. May you you know that your voice are, your voice is very <clears throat> low. You are talking as if this is bedroom. No, no, no. I'm just the that's the way the, the and you are very, and you're, you're not okay. there. so now may you that let back you know, that I'm I'm so emotional. So now let's go back to now when you now decide to say sorry that you want to leave and come back in two months three months time mm. Mia, do you know that you will have more people mm. that will be waiting for you as if you are jesus christ mm. that is coming and by the time you come back people will love you more than before mm. that ten double times but these people do not realize and you will put everybody talking about you who don't who don't who, who is looking for your downfall you put them to mm. shame like that and those only want you to just come and say repent they book they come back to love you you understand so i don't i don't but it's hard for these people to just realize that okay i've made mistake here he said mubast inje said that thing in that video the name won't ask him. He, he even brag in that video he will be coming and be saying things. Is it somebody that put it in his mouth to brag and say he's one of the richest mm. in Forbes as a one Forbes 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 ah nervous if ah I don't like this thing I mean. well, Forbes Forbes mm. in Forbes mm. he said it that I am mm. they never they never ask him oh. you see why somebody will put himself in problem. You now right. tell me that it's the same gospel that says it is a comment to pass through the eye of need that for a rich man to enter the kingdom of God. Some of you, most of them are preaching that oh, this, this world is not your home, don't gather riches. But they are bragging to be billionaires. Who but then they cannot even apologize to a fellow pastor that he insulted. I he said I'm not apologizing, apologizing to him, yeah, to I'm him. apologizing to my him. members. I will not apologize to that man. But he insulted him. Mm. You see. You see, what will it take you people to say, I am sorry? Don't you know that these people, you have moved them. They will never leave you. They will never go. You, instead of that, you have more, you have them double. Mm. Just to come out and say you are sorry. I don't know how you teach people to say sorry to God. If you can't say sorry to your neighbor. If you can't say sorry to people you have done wrong to. Oh, Lord. Okay. I say, oh, I say, my Osai. Yes, his name is Arume Osai. I say, Rume, thanks for Arume. Thank you guys for watching. Thank you, God bless. We'll see you on the next one. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram. 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 Follow me on